Start recording. There we go. Got the little red dot down there now. So we're recording. Yay! Today on Decentricast, we are going to install Superhive. What is Superhive? Well, Superhive is a very cool thing from Bambuka, another fellow Hive user. And it turns takes your blockchain transactions and turns it into your personal blog. We're going to do that live right here from scratch. I'm going to show you. It's not hard. Don't be afraid of the command line. Don't be afraid of terminals. Don't be afraid of, of all that stuff. I'm a bonehead. I don't know how to do any of this shit. But we're going to do it today on super on Decentricast. As soon as I can play that intro. Check out this intro. How's that furniture? Is that not badass or what? <laughs> I did that this morning. Dude, that is fucking cool. I'm loving this computer. This this computer rendered that 30 second video in 20 seconds. I am just, I'm excited as hell. So ah, sorry, I'm trying not to yawn because it's, it's early. And it's you know, it's still nine o'clock in the morning, but you know, it's, it is early. So check this out. In order to do this, as with anything to do with any kind of software or any kind of work, you know, this is work. If you're going to do any kind of work, first thing you got to do is get a cup of coffee. And my coffee's empty. So I've already drank it. So make sure you got coffee. That's your first step. Your second step is to go over here and see if you can find this. All right, cheer. Okay, this is my Vim dashboard. You don't need to see that. But this right here. This is what... This is, you know, Bambuka's uh, Hive account. If you're on Peak D... Um, oh, Essency. Whatever front end you use. This is, you know, your, your Hive account. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's cool because you can, you know, see everybody else's stuff, you know, and all that. But what if you don't want that? What if you want something that's just your own? Now, Bambuka created this thing called Superhive. Superhive gets your transactions from the blockchain and assembles it into a personal website on your own server. Check this out. God, I can't quit yawning. This is what Superhive looks like. This is his own website. Notice the URL, blog.florentcosmala.fr. These, these are just absolutely freaking... This is amazing. And then you could scroll all the way down to the bottom here. And here's some more links to his Hive, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, powered by Super Hive. Look at that. Look at that beautiful header. And, you know, this, this slogan. And then it's got the same links there. It's absolutely awesome. Oh. Here's another one. Eco Banker. 
This is Eco Instant. Instant. I think that's how you pronounce it. Eco Instant. On on high. This is his. Notice this theme. Looks an awful lot like the the Ghost theme from Ghost. Uh, CMS. This is just freaking awesome. And then now you can also do a community. This is the BS Chain community on on Hive. And, and dude, this is freaking badass. You know, like you know, I've got, dude. This this is exactly what I've been wanting, and what this is what I think can really pull people away from WordPress. Oh, sorry, I'm yawning. Then yawn the whole time I'm sitting here getting ready to go live. Now I go live and I start yawning. Imagine that. So anyways, check this out. Go over here to GitHub. GitHub.com. I'll put the links in the show notes. Um, it's This is your GitHub. And he's got the instructions how to do it. You need to clone this. You'll need... PHP 7.2, I think, but it's actually 7.4 with CLI, PHP zip, PHP XML, and PHP curl packages. And then, you know, you're going to need a web server. Um, so what what I'm going to do today is use Nginx. Okay, so first step first. <sighs> Slap yourself and wake up. First step is first here. Log into your server. This is my my server on Privix on the on the uh, left here. On the right is my instructions. So what we need is install our dependencies. So sudo app. Install PHP. PHP dash CLI, I believe it is. PHP dash zip. PHP dash XML. And php dash curl boom oh apparently I can't spell apt is spelled apt not atp yes boom la di da 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 this is you know, going to take, obviously, take a second. And we're doing this real time. So you can see how long it takes to, to do. <laughs> he just messaged me. <laughs> no, nope, not who's being... Going nuts. Yeah, anyways. This is exciting, isn't it? I don't know if I'm going to upload the audio to this or not. Probably not. Because it's just... Too... Too boring to do as audio. I'm going to be sitting here watching code do the thing. Yeah. Checking my notifications. Being totally unprofessional. Because that's what I do.
I suppose I should probably pay attention to what I'm doing. It's done and I'm just sitting here going, die, 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 die. Okay, so I think we need to install Git, but I think Git might be already there. But first, let's check our PHP version. PHP dash dash version. It is 7.4.3. Look at that. Awesome. All right, let's clear this here. Now let's do uh, git clone https oh, screw this never do this don't ever copy and paste commands because it could be something bad well yeah, there we go let's see what we got here Super high. Okay, now let's get Composure and install its dependencies. Control C, Control V. Um. Oh, sudo apt install Composure. Yes. Exciting, 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 exciting. Okay, now it's installed. That's composers installed. Now we can do that command. Cannot open imp of file composer dot bar. Ah. Let's see what this says about Composer. Okay, that doesn't say anything that I want to know. It will install all the dependencies. Let's see here, ls. Super high. What if I got to do that inside super high? CD super high. LS. There it is. Composer dot four. Where the Fuck is the composer.far file. Let me do some more research here. Composer. Linux. Unix Max. You can access it globally on Unix systems. Uh, oh, I wonder if I needed to do that as sudo. First, let me get out of this. Yeah. Let's go LS. So, okay, so we're in super high or in the root folder here. Uh or home folder, I mean. Let's go to Oh shit. Somebody's in the chat. Bambuka and Ron's in the chat. Shit. <laughs> Because he's the latest follower. That's why Piggy is up there. 
Ah. I did not see you guys were in here chatting. It's painful to watch, but it's part of the process. <laughs> Thanks, Ron. <laughs> With your composer installed, just use composer update. Don't use PHP composer. Oh. And look at at your chat. <laughs> trying. I didn't realize there was anybody in there. <laughs> okay, so I don't have to do the PHP. Just run the dot bar update, right? <laughs> yes, I know. I, I did not pay any attention to the chat until I just kind of looked over there and saw it. And I'm like, oh, shit, there's people talking. Uh, enough money. Where, 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 what'd you say? Composer install, just use composer update. The dot far update or just composer update? Oh, you do have to do it in the super high folder. Okay. So I was right. That's what I thought, but I wasn't sure. Just composer. Composer update. Morning, blah, 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 blah. Do I have to be pseudo? This. Oh, oh, it was still working. Duh. Nope. I thought it looked like it was saying that I had to be pseudo. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, we are 18 minutes into the recording. You guys like watching paint dry? <laughs> <laughs> no need of oh, an old version yeah I see it's on an old version but I don't it was just what was in the repo we'll see if it works if it doesn't work I'll wipe it and do it again oh we're down here next step is configure your web server Okay, so this is going to be the fun part. So this is my web server I'm using the Nginx. And now, is it just sudo apt install Nginx? I don't think I got Nginx. Nginx isn't installed on uh, out of the box, is it? Nope. What do I want? Nginx full? Like it, I'm on full. I got plenty of space on this drive. I could use some music in the background. Install an Nginx. What is Hip Hop Virtual Machine? I've never heard of Hip Hop Virtual Machine. Uh, you just want to test. You can use the PHP built-in server, but only for tests. Yeah, I don't want to test. I want this. This is going to be my site. Screw testing. 
Testing is for wussies. <laughs> now, where is... Shit, I don't remember. Where is the... Um... <laughs> you guys are hitting me up on the on the inter on the discord to be more professional how can i be more professional right you know i can't do that do the for the uh engine x do I have that have to have that running before I start changing the Etsy slash engine X? I don't remember what that file is. Engine X sites available. That's it. Uh, let's clean this up a little bit. Nano. Ah, uh, my server. Yeah, that's it. I got it. I found it. It needs to be changed. Looking for server. Listen, eighty. Where is the server name right there? No. Yeah, that's the one I changed. Oh. Do I keep the... No, I don't. Uncle Bonehead dot XYZ. Did I not do that as root? Shit. Okay. There we go. Ha! <laughs> Bite me, Ron. <laughs> now, where was I at? There. Change the server name to the XYZ. Write it. Yes. And then exit. And then what is a pseudo system CTL engine X start? Let's see if that's it. Or should I do the cert bot first? Cert bot first or start the engine X server first? Start the server first or cert box? I think it's cert box. Well, screw it. Or Nginx. Yeah, yeah, I should do the engine XT. Pseudo engine X dash T. Oh. No, system CTL. 
Nginx. Fuck it. What do you mean? Oh, I forgot the service. Sudo Nginx service, right? No, service Nginx. Failed with an error code. What the fuck? All right, bye, Bambuka. Thanks for stopping by. Nginx.t. Pseudo. Should I do cert bot first? Before I bother restarting all this crap? Pseudo system CTO uh, CTL Nope, that wasn't it. I really don't remember this. Oh, use the, where was it at? Uh, system, CTL, status, engine X, dot service. One of these days I put fat fingering things. Uh, Nginx service failed with exit. Failed to start a high performance web, yeah. But the journal ST, journal CTL. Oh, I have ports being used. What the hell does that mean? What ports are being used? How do I uh, figure the... Eh, pseudo service Apache 2 stop. Apache to stop. Yep, it stopped. And then sudo service engine X restart. Sudo service engine X restart. Tab completion. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know what to think. <laughs> okay, it did a restart. It didn't complain, so I'm guessing that's good. Now do I do the cert bot? Or how do I check to make sure the engine X is going? Go to that page. Damn it.
it's not going to show anything yet. Oh yeah, there's the Apache 2 Ubuntu default page. So that shows up. So now I need to go do the cert bot. Correct. Because it doesn't seem like I've got it set up yet. Oh, I gotta rename the config file. I know that. Yes, do cert bot. Okay, sudo at install cert. Cert bot. Yes. Now I know absolutely nothing of what the commands are for cert bot. So I should probably look those up. <laughs> uh, my AC is running on. Ooh, what? My root folder is wrong. Well, how is it wrong? I gotta go back to the sites available, right? Where is that freaking command? Sudo nano Etsy. All right. Well, this an eighty. See, there's the server name, AlcoBonet.xyz. Change the root up here. Where it says www.html. Just change that to public. Okay. Home Ubuntu Superhive public. Where do you see all the home Superhive? Where? Right here? This what you're talking about? I'm confused. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> index.html index index. This root. R W W yeah okay. I was there. Remove the var wwhtml. Okay. Where's my cursor? I need to change that to. Well, home. What what is it? Home super hive. Shit, I don't remember what you said. Yeah, home Ubuntu Super Hive Public. Home Super Hive Slash Public. Like that, right? That looks right. Oh, I forgot to do Ubuntu. God damn it. Because that's the user. There we go. I still missed a folder. There's home, Ubuntu, Super Hive, public. Okay, that's what I thought. I got it. See, I've got it on there now. This delay is screwing my head. Control zero right or 
control O, right? Boom. Okay. Do I gotta restart the engine X again or cert bot? What what are my cert bot commands? Uh, HTT website that is already online. Now add index.php to that list below. Fuck. Make Add index.php to, oh, this list here, right, so which, so I still got to have the regular index and index.html, right? Still got it. Oh, just add it to the end. Okay. Where's my cursor? See, I'm getting this. Index. Dot. Php. Yes, I got it before the semicolon. <laughs> I'm a little, I'm, I'm a bonehead, but I, I know a little bit more than that. Give me some credit, Ron. <laughs> uh, right. Nah. Pseudo engine. The service engine? X? Yeah, service engine X. Engine X restarts. Pseudo, oh shit, I forgot my space. Hey, no complaints. Now we can do pseudo cert bot. And debug. Doesn't know how to automatically configure the web server on this system. However, it can still get a certificate for you. Please run cert bot cert only to do so. You need, oh, you'll need to manually configure your web server to use the resulting certificate. Is that what I want to do? <laughs> to manually configure the, the, cert, the server to handle the certificate? <laughs> Why couldn't it just do it? Uh, Instructions on the thing is telling me to use snap. Oh, pseudo cert bot dash dash engine X dash D. <laughs> Thank you, Shoe Funk. <laughs> Sudo install easy mode. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Sudo cert bot dash D 
Uncle Bonehead. Dot XYZ. Saving debug log to var, blah, 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 blah. Certbot doesn't know how to automatically configure the web server on this system. On their, the, uh, it says certbot dash dash engine X. Okay, so what's the dash D for? What does that do? What is that flag for? The dash dash D. Oh, domain. Okay. Does not appear to be installed. Screw you, sir, bot. <laughs> Oh, la, 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 should I install the snap package like it says to do and then do it? Pseudo. Yes, I agree, Shoe Funk. JDI, just for do it. Uh, App to install Python 3 cert bot nginx. Oh, use that, that package. I did not know there was a Python 3 package for cert bot. Python 3 dash cert bot dash nginx. Yes. Now, when I do it again after installing this, should I do the um, Nginx, or I mean the the cert bot dash d Uncle Bonehead dot x y z dash dash Nginx, or should I just do sudo cert bot dash d Uncle Bonehead dot x y z? Just do the sudo cert bot. Okay. Pseudo cert bot. Enter email address used for urgent renewal and security features notices. Don't look at this. Don't laugh. You guys are privy to something here just because you are watching live. And please read the terms of service at blah, 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 blah. Three in order to register. I agree with a capital A. Would you be willing to share your email address with the electronic front? Yes, they already got it. So, yes, go ahead and do it. Appropriate numbers separated by commas and or spaces or leave input blank to select all options shown. <laughs> no, it wasn't a hotmail address. It was okay, one. Waiting for verification, cleaning up challenges. No redirect. Now do I want this to be a redirect or no? Yes, it should be a re redirect, right? Okay, that's what I thought. I thought it was a redirect. Okay, so now that's there. Didn't get no errors or anything screwed up. So now what I should be able to do is go to the domain and it's it says, oh, I think I just closed it. 
damn it. Nope, there it is. Uh, what is it? Mm. it? says I should be able to go to the URL and create a secure username and password and then click finish. What do you mean the domain won't work? It should work. I'm on. Oh, I got to change the config, the config file name. How do I do that? Do I got I ls composer config dot sample dot json. The slim four thing. Oh. So I gotta go back up here to this. No, that's cert bot. This right here. Uh move config dot sample dot json. Move that to where? Oh, that just that changes the name. MV. Config dot sample dot JSON to config dot JSON. Okay, did that and then sudo apt install php dash fpm. I thought I already did that. Sudo app install php dash fm. Is that what it was? Fpm. Okay, so I didn't do that one yet. I thought you had to go, Bamboo. You stuck around. Or you riveted to the edge of your seat. <laughs> what are you reading about, Ron? I don't understand what the re means. Anyways. So this Nginx configuration for Slim, there is an example Nginx v virtual host configuration for the domain example.com. This is for inbound HTTP, da, 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 da. PHP, FM, FPM servers running on port 9123. You should update the server name, error log, access log, and root directives with your own value. The root directive is the value is a path to your application's public document root direct for Slim's apps. Index.php front controller file should be in this directory. Nah. So where is this file at? This is in... The shit. The root directory is the path of your application public document root directory. So is that the in the app directory of Superhive? Oh, you want the Nginx comp? I can do that. Here it is. OK. 
Can you see it? Am I moving too fast? You want me to paste it in the chat? <laughs> An index. And first, you can use index.php. Ron, what was your question? I didn't see a question. Oh. <laughs> Just a second. Oh, <laughs> just a second. I, just I don't second. have a, my microphone hooked up there, so hang on. Oh, <laughs> Wait, just a second. I, just I don't have a, my microphone hooked up there, so hang on. Grab. Oh, Wait, just a second. I, just I don't hang have on. I can't hear you yet. Up there, so hang on. Grab. Oh, Wait, just a second. I, now I should be on there. Yeah. Why is oh now I should be on there. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hang hello? on, just a second. Hello, hello. I did not. Oh, now I should be on there. Fucking, I thought Can I had that on there. Can you hear me? Just hang hello? on, just a second. Hello, hello. I did not. Now I should be on there. Fucking. Are you listening to the stream? Hello, hello. Can you hear me now? Are you listening to the stream? Hello, hello. Hello. Yeah, you should be able to hear me now. Are you listening to the stream? Yes, I hear you. Okay. Hello. The the audio on the um. Yeah, you should be able to hear me now. The audio on the uh stream is just horrible. Yes, I hear you. Is it? It's. It sounds yeah. like you're listening to the, the stream. The audio on the. Um, yeah, you should be able. To, hang on. The audio on the. Uh, stream. Why am I getting like six of you? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what you got going on there, but the stream is trippy as fuck right now. <laughs> I have no idea. Well, we don't have to do this. I know you weren't set up for this. I was just gonna try to do this in real time without the delay. Yeah. Can you hear me now? I can still hear you. Yeah. Still hear you. yeah. Okay, now I've only got one of you. That's cool. Let me listen to the stream real quick. La -di -da, la -di -da, la -di -da. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, there's uh there's no twenty twenty of me talking at the same time. <laughs> yeah, so wow. um essentially you need to get this engine X configuration into uh that fault that file there. Um Okay. And the thing is, is it's not all in the exact same order, but if you go up to the top, right? Oh, there you go. If you go up to the top of that uh, Nginx uh, config, uh, not, uh, yeah, that, on, on there, you can kind of match it. So it's not exactly in the same order, but you know, you got the server, you, server and then the bracket. Yeah. All right. So that's the same. These are the same uh, like category, I guess. It'd be easy okay, to say. Okay. I see. Um. So then. So I need to. You got the root. The root is came first, right there. But it's, it's uh, you know, you've got that filled out. Server name, you've got filled out. Um, index. I think. I mean, here's the thing. So like doing it like that way, the way you got the way it's done, it's like it'll look for HTML, look for HTML, it'll look for all those other things. You can just delete all that except for index, index.php colon to make it look like your, uh, look like the right example. You see what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, you can delete the HTML. I don't have the, to do the index.html. You don't need all of that, no. Just index space index.php. Okay. That's what I got. And then, uh, yeah, I forget you're, you're, I'm watching your screen, but it's like five seconds or 10 seconds behind too. Well, I can, I can share you mine. <laughs> oh yeah. That might actually be better. Your computer actually can do it now. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. I don't know why I just pushed the video. Screen. There we go. I want. 
Yeah, we'll do the terminal. Oh. Your stream there is we go. still running. I got Do you it. see it? Yep. Okay. All right. So, um, what else do we want to do here? Um, There's the server name, the location. We got that error logs fine, access logs fine. Uh, go okay. So that location forward slash. You see how yeah. uh, on the right side there's try files index.phps in there, and then on yours there's not. What I would do is copy over on the right side. I would copy from the con the configuration example. Copy try files uri index.php is args args thing, including the bracket, including the semi. Everything has to end with a semicolon, or else it'll fail your uh, nginx config. Well, pretty much everything, but just assume everything does pretty much anyway. So copy that. Now, no, don't even worry about that. You can't you can't select text on on the nano. Go up. Yeah, no. uh, put your cursor before the t and try. Now, before the T and try, just, yeah, right there. Oh, all right, there's fine. And then put a, um, put a hash, put a pound. Uh, oh, hash a comment. Yeah. Now, and then I go to the down. end, go to the end of 404 and hit enter. And now paste, control shift V. You might want to uh, go to the beginning of that and, and tab over. Yeah, just give it a tab. There you go. Okay. So now, now it's do, now you got that set up. Like, uh, now we need to do this location uh, PHP thing. What I would do, you know, so essentially they've kind of already got that set up down there. You see what the, it's all, but they don't have it exactly the same way the other person or the the right here is. Yeah, you can see location PHP and all that stuff. What I would do is just copy. That entire um, that entire example. Leave leave all the commented out stuff down there alone, and just put it put it like above it, right? So you just want to copy that entire location PHP, including the one bracket after that. No, so you, you got to get the bra one bracket after that. You got it because it it opens a bracket after the first line, and then you need to end that bracket like that. Uh, well, like hold that. on. Yeah, probably. Yeah, we got a we got a delay on that part. So, <laughs> copy, and then just go. I would put it right above below. past PHP scripts. Oh, past, above it. Yeah, you can't you can't select with your mouse. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it gets so hard to use. You know, trying to do it. Do I need to leave a space between that bracket? Yeah, you can. Control Shift V. Paste. Now the location's out of lag. Yeah, you put a tab before it, and you you copied the the uh, indentation. Oh. Now you're gonna just delete spaces. Whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, what was I supposed to do? Uh, you were supposed to just remove the the tab you put in before you pasted. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, so you copied the spaces before it. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. That's fine. I gotta It'll that work. Other bracket. It'll work. Over, it just, don't I? Yeah, you got the bracket. It's good. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be in line. No, it's fine. That's just more about uh, making it look good. Oh, I thought they always had to be in line, <laughs> or wouldn't read. <laughs> That's. All right, so that should be, I, I don't know. Let me see here. Let me look over there. That's it. Hey, write that out. You know, the Close only thing is, is we're not listening to port 80, but this is SSL, so it shouldn't really matter. We're going to listen to 443, so that's fine. Should I add 443 up there? No, it's already added. Uh, CertBot did that automatically in your, in your. Oh. If you, you, you okay. could have seen it if you looked at it there, but yeah. Uh, now I got to go. And so now go back to your thing. superhive guide. Yeah. And that's already, already changed. Did you did you do the CP 
config yeah yeah you already did that so then nano config json no you don't need a nano because you you do this in the sorry yeah. you do that in the web web configuration so see it says update.php config.json yeah you got right it there. all so now you go to um go to bonehead.xyz go over there and hit refresh on your uh on the page that you have open I don't want to download it. What the fuck are you talking about downloading? Uncle Bonehead.xyz. Why is it asking me to download? I have no idea. That's some fucked up shit. See, this is why I did the... Uh... Yeah, it wants to download it. What does it want? It wants to download, download, download it. See what it's trying to download. <laughs> Might as well. I mean, it's it's coming from your site. So if you give yourself a virus, does it? Is, <laughs> <laughs> it just says download. I bet it's an HTML. Download. Show in folder. <laughs> download. Required to app start dot php to run. Wait, 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 wait. Bamboo is saying something. Is he over on Discord? No. Saying it on the. Don't forget the location root dot php part. See, it's a commentary. Echo, echo, echo. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got to restart Nginx. We didn't do that. Oh. Didn't know. We, didn't realize we had to restart Nginx again. Every time you change that config file, you have to restart Nginx. Oh. Because then it loads up the new config. Yeah. Pseudo Thanks, Bambuka. Nginx. Restart. Now, let's see what it does. All right, now you can. It still wants to download. <laughs> does it? <laughs> he was saying something about. Don't forget the location PHP part. I, I thought we did that. Root.php. I don't remember that. Go, go back to the, uh, go back to the Nginx config. And then go down, scroll down below the, uh, yeah, so locate. Wait, is that twice there? Because this here is. No, that the, the, those both need to be there. They're both like that? Yeah, that's it. You got it all. I mean. Are you sure? Yeah. Because this looks like it's doing the same thing twice. What do you mean? Right here. It's not commented, but it's also the same thing here. No, that's a different thing. That's that's escape slash. <laughs> not a not a forward slash. Those do two completely different things. What's this line here? What's what? It says. Yeah, no, fast. you've got you've got all the stuff that he was talking about, but now it's still trying to download on X on. Yeah. X Y Z there. Get built. Yeah, see, there, there at the bottom, there's your listen. Oh, okay, yeah. And that's all. Certbot did all that. Oh, he's messaging me. He must have changed something in the conf uh, the listen port. I didn't change anything. Yeah, in the listen port. I yeah, I don't I don't remember you changing anything. We should get we should get him on the call if he can get on the call. Uh, he said he had to leave. No, he be said he, he said he was leaving. He'd be back in fifteen to thirty minutes, and then he came back. Oh. 
Bambuka, can you join the call? Yeah, actually, you're at the part where I'm at. I, I, well, <laughs> I on Apache, I was able to get it to work. Um, on, on this, I couldn't. You know what? Let's try something real quick. Um, I, I'm was waiting for Bambuka to answer. He might be able to join. He might not. We don't know yet. But uh, let's do that. Uh, so open up and right uh, exit out of your uh, exit out of your Nginx config. And then open up a, a right-click the terminal. I don't know which terminal you're using. It's a XS, XFCE. Oh, so it doesn't have tabs, does it? Mm, yep. So you can you can open a new tab on it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Got a new tab now. One second. Oh, I got a sneeze. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> um. And the, and then remember that. Uh, I sent you the. Oh. Yeah. Do this. Right here. But change username and server address to. Um, you can do um, you know Ubuntu would be username and then server address. You can just do Uncle Bonehead dot X Y Z. You gotta do the at, right? No, no at on this part. So just space and then Uncle Bonehead. And then just gonna ask for your password. Or yes, and then and then password. Hopefully I didn't just expose that. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's just that's just the uh, fingerprint. No, I did. <laughs> I mean, it, it's fine. I'll be changing that later. Changing what? <laughs> My password. <laughs> you didn't expose the password. I did on stream. No, you did. Uh, the, the thing I'm looking at right now. On yeah, that's not a password. It. Oh, oh, did you? Oh. <laughs> we copied and pasted the password from something else. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, fucking moron. Okay. Well, go back. Go back to uh, Ubuntu at whatever the Bonehead web server tab. Let's do that right now. Uh, P A S S W D. Current password. New password. Now remember that. You go put it in your text file or whatever. <laughs> the password was password. No. <laughs> okay, it's changed. <laughs> All right. Wow. So now, now go over to your web browser, and go to localhost colon eight 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 eight. Let's see if that works. Nope. No. Nope. I don't think it connected. Uh huh. Because it says uh, channel two open failed, connect failed. Connection did not used. Interesting. I didn't get that. I've done this <coughs> in two different places now. I did it on a on a server, uh, an Apache server, and an Nginx server. No, you already got that running, so you don't need to do that again. But it's not. It didn't connect. I know, but it. Do you see how it's saying connection refused? It, it's on the server side, not on the. Uh, that's on the server side, not on the. Because uh, um, it could be because I just changed the password. That's telling you your SSH tunnel is working properly. 
Oh. You know what? And I, actually, maybe it is because no, because you're still SSH'd into it. It's not that doesn't change anything. You're you know. You're still SSH'd and running commands over on the other side. Changing the password didn't do anything about that. New password is Drowsap. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. Drowsap. <laughs> so, yeah, we're kind of at an impasse here. I'm not quite sure where to go from here. Because uh, the the website isn't working, we can't even SSH tunnel. Uh, we can't even SSH tunnel and then do it from your local host because it's refusing the connection. Um, like that's where I was able to get it to work and, and go do that. And then I also even got it going on the web page itself. And you saw it. You were at OnlyClowns.World. Yeah, I saw it. It worked for a minute. I think I think this uh, PHP stuff plays nicer with uh, Apache than it does in Gen X. It says it's got to be running on port ninety one twenty three. How do I check that? It doesn't say it has to be running there. That's that's something. Else. Yes, it does. It says fast CGA pass. That's just an internal port. You see how you see how it's one two seven. That's the same thing as local it's, host. Yeah, it says it assumes that. PHP FPM server is running on port 9123. How do I make sure that it is running on 9123? That's probably a default thing, and I'm not quite sure. Uh, but we can do the we can do the PHP. Um, go back to the Superhive instructions and wait five seconds because there's a delay for me to look at. Uh, but there is a PHP. Um, Did he remove it? Let me go look at my. I got. I got it open here somewhere too. Not that. Do I not have Superhive? <laughs> this is fun and exciting. This is this is exciting stuff. I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> Don't fall out of the chair. <laughs> uh, let's see here, Superhive. Hey, Bambuka's back. Hi, Bambuka. Would you like to join the, the Discord call with me and Ron? <laughs> I can bring you in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Check which version of PHP you're running first, too. 7.4 or something or other. Okay, that'll work. He said It just says 7.2 plus. Um, that was the first thing I did when I installed PHP. I wonder he must have updated this because there was like a, or no, maybe it's on the slim the slim instructions. Go to the slim four instruction page that you have open. All right, uh, you know what? I'm gonna add you as a friend, Bambuka, and then I'll add you to this. Uh, we'll do a three way call here. Um, uh, so accept my friend request. Profile, send friend request, and then I'll be able to add you. PHP FM star. Yeah, yeah. So where is it? where is that uh, slim? That's the composer instructions you have up. Well, at least that's what I see up. The The last tab on oh. the right is what the slim. But yeah, uh, there. this is getting spicy. There's, there's Nginx. All right, I think he's got, yeah, he's got my friend request. So, add friends. There's the Apache. Wait, we got to, I got to add you as a friend too. So, I sent you a friend request, Bonehead. You got to accept it over really? on Discord. Uh, we're already friends. I know. All okay. right, so now I can add Bambuka. And then we create. Oh, we all got to be friends together. We all got to be friends. Why can't we be friends? Hello. Why can't... Hey, what's happening, Bambuka? What's up? 
<laughs> Alors, euh, in first, sorry for my bad English. I don't speak English very well, but I I learn, so uh, I will uh, help you. Uh, you forgot something with PHP FPM. Uh, when you uh, copy past the uh, Nginx uh, configuration, yeah. the fast CGI uh, pass is one two seven dot o dot o dot one, and uh, you must uh, edit uh, one file. Uh, uh, can, I, um, can I write uh, in Discord? To uh, yeah. uh, okay, uh, uh, see the fast CGI index dot PHP, yeah, yeah, uh, wait two seconds, uh, I, I see something, uh, it's a listen directive in uh, PHP uh, FPM uh, pool configuration, uh, so, uh um, it's sudo nano uh, slash etc slash uh, php 7.4 uh, slash uh, uh, fpm slash pool.d slash www.conf Oh, there you go. And, and also, Bambuka, you can just speak French to Bonehead. He, underst he understands it about as well as English. Oh! Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Vous savez parler français. <laughs> I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm kidding. But I'm just uh, basically, I'm saying his English is so bad, you might as well speak French to him. Okay, okay this says directory Etsy PHP 7.4 FM. Oh, it doesn't. Does not exist. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, it's not PHP 7.4, it's just uh, PHP 7.4, 7 uh, 7 I think. So, uh, here, do this, at Bonehead. Exit from that. Well, actually, can you share your terminal with us so we can see it in real time and then not five seconds behind? Oh, it's not doing it. Yeah, it, it exited that it when we switched to the three way. Oh, okay. Because here's here's where tab completion really really shines. Do the pseudo nano dash e e e e e e e e slash uh, and then type in PHP and then hit PHP tab. and tab for completion. And then PHP PHP tab. Okay, so there's no. Oh, it's on only the, it's only PHP. Okay, so now it's a uh, FPM uh, FPM tab. A FPM tab, yeah. And tab's not doing anything. Nope. All right. Uh, uh, go click. Uh, go back and then just type in tab and see. Uh, like yeah. Uh, type in. Oh no, sorry. Uh, I meant just leave the PHP slash and then hit tab a couple of times and see what pops up. Seven point four. Oh, okay. There's a seven point four folder and then hit tab again twice. All right, so then FPM folder is what I would assume, and then tab twice. See what I, see if there's a www config in there. Oh, conf D is where it'd probably be. Or wait, there's a pull D. There it is. Pull, pull D. D. Pull D. Yeah. The FPM dot pool. No, pool dot D. Pool dot D. And www.conf. All right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, on the bottom of the screen, you see uh, listen equal uh, uh, slash run slash php. Uh, yes, yes. That's yes, yes. right. Okay. Uh, just replace uh, slash run php uh, na 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 with uh, your IP uh, uh, you have in the nginx configuration. I see it's one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one two point nine uh, one two three. I think. Oh, right here. Talking 
Okay, so we were watching the stream and it had to, like on that other thing you're gonna yeah. So you're talking about the fast CGI CGI underscore pass, correct? Yep. Yeah, that that is a one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one colon nine one two three. So you want that there on the listen? Uh, Bambuka, if I understand yep. you correctly, you want that on the listen, correct? Uh, sorry, I don't understand. You want Nine, the uh, fast if, CGI if, underscore if, pass. If you write it, it's better for me. Uh, listen, yes, uh, it's, is that right, Herdon? Uh, so I put it Do into chat. Is that, bad? Does that, is that what you want? Yes. Yes. Okay. And and that replaces. Yeah, remove run PHP and all that. Keep the least listen equals, and then put what I put in the chat. Remove the run. Yeah, dude. Okay, it says listen equals slash run slash PHP slash PHP seven point yeah. four. Remove slash run slash PHP, and then put in one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one dot nine one two three. But leave the run. No, that remove whole... run. Remove p. Like remove everything after equals. Okay, that's what I was asking. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fucking do that. <laughs> One of these days, I'll remember that. Where's my cursor? It's way at the top. I found it. So that's what I need just, to do too. Just the IP address. Yes. And the port. Yeah. Bambuka, I think you've uh, you're selling yourself short. Your English is much better than you give yourself credit for. Oh, uh, sorry. In our, uh, it's very difficult for me. Uh, to understand the English is very, very difficult. I made some important time for that, but uh, but I'm French. <laughs> <laughs> it works good. You, it, you're understandable. That's for sure. I can understand you. Okay. Do I need to uh, do anything else with this file? Uh, no, it's okay now. Uh, just after that, uh, save the file and uh, restart PHP FPM. How do you restart PHP? Uh, sudo service uh, restart uh, uh, PHP uh, 74 dash FPM, I think. <laughs> <laughs> sudo service restart. Uh, what's, what's the first word? Is it PHP? Because you can tab complete this too. Uh, uh -huh. No, 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 not, uh, no. Just service, restart, and after PHP, use tab completion. Yes. Restart, space, PHP. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. whoa what's a Q? <laughs> are you adding Qs here? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> no. Restart, uh, type PHP. Type, type PHP. And then hit tab. Hit Double tab. tab. Nothing, huh? Nope. Uh, you, you are Ubuntu, right? Ubuntu, right? Ubuntu yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe it's uh, maybe FPM. FPM. Not PHP dash FPM, just FPM. Oh, shit. Uh, hmm. I will try. Um, up, uh, okay, uh, restart PHP uh, seven dash uh, double tab PHP seven double tab. It doesn't. Oh, fuck it. Uh, <laughs> I 
This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> I love this shit. Uh... Studio service restart. No, oh, you, I see what you're doing. Um, so you need to, so you're doing service. If you were doing system control, it'd be restart PHP, but you're doing service. So you need pseudo service program, then command. Oh. Pseudo service. And then type PHP tab. PHP. Nothing, huh? Yeah. Oh, there, HP 7.4 dash uh, FPM, yeah. Space restart. Space restart. Yeah. Yeah. No complaint. No complaints. Do now. I gotta restart the engine X too, right? And no. now, if we go on Uncle Bonhead dot X Y Z. Oh shit. Oh shit. Um. Do I gotta restart the engine X again? Uh ah yes, you can restart the engine X again. Uh. <sighs> oh uh That didn't work. <laughs> no, that's the same. Okay, uh, maybe <laughs> maybe uh, we have a uh, more chance to see the log error log of Nginx. Uh, uh, you want to see the uh... do a tail? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, uh, can you copy paste uh, the command I write in uh, Discord? You probably need to use sudo with that too, don't you? Yes, of course. <laughs> so type, type sudo and then paste that. Yeah. Holy shit, there's a lot. Now we know Bonehead's IP address. We know my IP address. We know uh, she phone's IP address. All right. Uh... <laughs> Did I want the one two seven? Why we zero? have been? Or should oh, should have been the the IP address of the, the <laughs> server. Hey, Rodon, it's the same error that you have for your website. So it is the IP address for the website. Uh, it's a right uh, problem. Um, it, so. It, Oh, I bet you I, he needs to add uh, Nginx to the, or what is Nginx user's name? That's like. Oh, it's executor Nginx with uh, www data. Yeah, www data needs to okay. be added group. Yeah, so. Uh, but super have it installed uh, in, uh, with uh, Ubuntu uh, user, no? Yeah, so it'll just be, it'll be Ubuntu, Ubuntu colon www data. Okay. Um, so what do I do? <laughs> Maybe just chesh mode? Maybe just what? Uh, ch mode. Uh, uh, to uh, change right. Uh, I was going to do ch own, then that add www data. Oh, yes. Yes. Um... Uh, I think I've done that command before, but I don't remember. Uh, not public. Uh, super i slash. Not public. Not public. Not public. <laughs> okay, so same thing. Just... Because all the data are uh, not uh, served by uh, Nginx. Because it's not served. Public is served by. Oh, but you need the you need the root folder. Yep. Yeah. Okay. 
I really I, need to write a very great documentation <laughs> to install Subrive. <laughs> no doubt. So, I did that command. All right, man. You can. Hey, uh, I can choose your username and password now. Yeah. No, you don't. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> Not uh, this one, Ron. No, you better hurry up. <laughs> Finished. <laughs> Choose a good one, though. Don't, don't use that crappy little password. It's encrypted in a file. Your password is not um, plain text, right? It's encrypted in, on a password text file. Is it? So it's on the server? Yep. In the app folder? Or where would it? All right, buddy. That's it. So now for user, if we uh, go to uncanballhand.xyz, uh, oh, it's my uh, super eye. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can change uh, global settings like author. In default, it's me, Bambuka, but now you can change ah. it. Okay, I see. Just change it with the Hive username. And then the yes. title. Uh, you probably don't want to uncle click keep. Uh, huh? What the hell is that name? It almost Uncle. looks like Unkike Bonehead. Oh, you make a, type, oh, a typo, yeah. Unclick <laughs> 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 <Un-click-a-ka-ba- laughs> the Lord, I've been, I've been like, what the fuck, man? Unclick the Bonehead. I got a stutter. Uh, stutter. <laughs> Uncle. Uncle Bonehead. <laughs> All right. There you go. So now, now that's it, man. I mean, you know. You can change baseline and uh, don't forget to save. Yep. Number of posts displayed on the front page. Yeah, click save. I want to see if it just... Oh, you can do different different APIs endpoints, too. Yeah. I usually use Deathwing. That's what I like. And you can change... Oh, you can do show your cross posts too. That's your reblogs. Yes. Uh, don't untick uh, the developer mode. I made a mistake in code, and uh, it will be uh, fixed in uh, next update. What was that? What's being leaked? Uh, uh, don't wait, uncheck development. Don't mode. don't uncheck uh, developer mode. Yeah. Oh, I uncheck it, or don't uncheck it. Do not. Don't uncheck it. Okay. It, it when I hit save, it went back to you. Okay, now, uh, now, uh, now if oh. uh, the user go to Uncle Bonehead X Y Z, uh, you click on save. Yeah, he clicked on saved in it. So this this is one of the things. It's back to the permissions. We need to go back to your terminal. Okay. Oh, you you expect that, uh, Rodon? So on do uh, on 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 this. Do ls space dash al dash al dash. Yeah, I'm getting there. No, not ls dash space al. <laughs> <laughs> Messing with me, Ron. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So, yeah. Ww data needs to. Uh, Oh, uh, needs to own everything. <laughs> so we need to do that recursive. Uh, CH. We forgot recursive mode of uh, Shaun. Yeah. <laughs> we, what's that? So I can do the same command. And then what is it? Dash R Shaun? Or Shaun dash R? Dash uh, caps R. Yes. Yep. All right, now go back and just try to change your name before you change like all sorts of stuff on there. 
go to the uh, admin page and just put your name in there and then hit save and see if it see if it keeps it. Ha ha! It saved. All right, let's let me check your Uncle Bonehead. Dot X Y Z. Yep. Uh, no, I'm still getting Bambuka. Refresh the admin page. Huh. Oh. Refresh. Oh, now refresh. Yes. Maybe I'm getting a cached version on mine. So it's saying. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, just remove um, the data folder in server. Remove the what? The data folder. Um, it changed the name, but it's not changing your, the, the user. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, just remove the blog.json file. Uh, can you go to the terminal, please? So we got the terminal in, in real time here in our chat, too. If, if you oh, yes. Uh, so... Uh, Up. Uh, just copy past the command in Discord on your terminal. Press enter. Yeah. And now. Oh. Oh. He's he's out. Why? Why? <laughs> What did it do? It, you got Uncle Bonehead in it here now on your on. It says Uncle Bonehead on your site, but there's no post. Yeah, but there's. Oh shit! Uh, it's Uncle Bonehead on uh, Hive too, huh? yes. right? Yeah. Yep. But so why? If, if you click if you click the link on Super Hive, it it goes to the correct page, so it it does have the right username. <laughs> Why I can't have uh, no oh. wait I, I will test in local on my computer. Uh... So though it was showing on only clowns, it was showing bronze. <laughs> Um, What's in the data folder? You know, you might might uh, do that that tail command again and check the error log on Nginx. All right. Uh, wait two seconds, please. I will test uh, with uh, your account on my computer <laughs> to, to try something. Uh, up. Uh, so, uh, uncle one head without error. Um, not uh, uncle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that's right. Oh, <sighs> it works for me. But why don't for you? Um, Are you on Apache? No, uh, I'm on uh, Arch Linux uh, with uh, PHP 8, but uh, it's it's the same. Uh, maybe uh, can you uh, execute the L -A ls space dash uh, al command? Okay, all is in W data. <laughs> yep, W W W data. Oh, oh wait. Oh wait. Found it. Uh, uh 
hop. Euh... Alors ça... Ouh. Copy pas the last command in Discord. And it will be okay after that. I just add uh, W data writing in a data folder. Uh, so now, uh, can you uh, copy past the rm data block JSON command to remove block JSON? Oh, the, okay. The block JSON? Yeah. yeah. Do that again. Yep. If you want to refresh all Super Hive, uh, you can just uh, remove block JSON and account JSON, and all will be refreshed. Oh, does it need to be pseudo? Oh, man! Oh. Hey! Go to your website. Hey, it's working. The admin? Oh, it is working now. All right. All right. <laughs> now, in the terminal, when I did that last command, it's asking me, uh, do I want to remove that? I prefer to remove that, but uh, it's not uh, required here. Required. required. Yeah, you're, you're, Super Hive will regenerate the blog.json. There we go. That yeah, looks weird. Well, you got some of these. Oh, I went. There's no image available. Oh, I don't know. It looks fine for me. It doesn't look like that. Oh, you clicked on a. Uh... Yeah, the debuzz post is just small. Oh, the debuzz does not use the uh, metadata uh, for images and some uh, other information. Uh... If you want to learn, uh, I've uh, used some metadata in a uh, post, like uh, images, uh, what you used to post, uh, and some other information. But Dibas don't use it. And Super I've used uh, the metadata to uh, display images, um, uh, comments, uh, date, and other things. Oh, oh, what is this? I can post from here? Yeah, yep. Of course you can. I didn't know we could post. I thought it just read. <laughs> you post and comment. You can upvote. Uh, yeah, I knew about the comments and the and the upvotes, but I didn't know you could. I can post to the blockchain right from my own website. Yeah. Dude, this is fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Super Rive exists. This is... This is what I was talking about a year ago when I first, well, over a year ago when I first got on Hive. This is <laughs> fucking badass. And for pages, pages is like post but off chain. It's like uh, right. statical pages on WordPress, if you know. Right. But it's all written in Markdown. Yep. And uh, I need to uh, create uh, an automatic uh, menu with a page because if you create some page super i've give you a link but uh it's not in menu or other things like this okay so it doesn't show up on the on on the front page yes yes so okay, now if i want to change my is where i screwed up everything excuse what me did you do? uh i put in a uh, i put in a link to an image on there and it screwed everything up. But I think it's, I think doing what we did here, uh, you know, changing ownership, changing the, the, uh, modify, you know, CH mod and CH own with those, I should be able to get it to work. I, I'm wondering though, you want to try that bonehead? Sure. So, um, create a new page. <laughs> so, what I would do is like just in Discord somewhere, upload your image that, that you like your avatar. Like from this, yeah, yeah, on a, on a new page. I mean, just anywhere here in our chat, over just or even if you have it somewhere, that way it's hosted, and then you copy the link. Oh, okay. I mean, it, it's a good workaround for right now. You can actually host it on your own server too. Right. 
like it just pew, pew. you can you can r sync or ftp that into your public folder and then just your address would be like uncle bonehead slash image name dot jpeg let's try this picture here i just want to see if it <laughs> you want that okay right click the copy image and then uh, go to social and SEO tab on your admin. It says unable to copy Jimmy's preview. Oh, uh, no. So copy link. Okay. Because you're wanting the link. Right. And then go to create new page. Uh, at social and SEO tab on Hive, Super Hive admin. And then, There's home, post, pages, social, and SEO. Yeah, I got it. Okay. And then, and then, SEO or the social networks. And then uh, image. Oh, just put an image. Paste. And then save. Hit save and it didn't show anything. All right. So actually, that what that should do is like whenever you type in, um, whenever you put this in here, I'm pretty sure this is what it does. It, it, it... yeah. Look, bonehead. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. That's what it. That's what that does. Awesome. Oh, one thing. Uh, personal doesn't have two ends. I've seen that a few times, and I've meant to tell you there, Bambuka. Uh, so, excuse, sorry, excuse me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking French guy. <laughs> hey, you're doing good. You're doing good. There we go. I saved it. So, so I go through here and put my... I ain't got Facebook, plus fake post, and I ain't got Instagram. Fuck, I ain't. I'm on this on LinkedIn, but I don't fucking care about link, LinkedIn. Um, <laughs> you super professional truck driver on LinkedIn. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. <laughs> you got a picture of you in a suit driving a truck. <laughs> <laughs> you don't don't laugh. I've seen that before. <laughs> Hey, listen, it's a lot harder to have them uh, help you unload a, unload the trailer if you're wearing a suit. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I'm so sorry, guy, but uh, I need to. Uh, I must leave. Yep, yeah, not a problem. Hey, I man. appreciate your help. We got it. It was freaking you're, awesome. You're welcome. Uh, see you soon. See you soon. And uh, yep. have a nice day. Hey, thank, hey you thank too. You so much I'll be for posting. Bye. -bye. Yes, thank Bye. you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye. That's freaking awesome. You got it, man. I should probably, I should probably stop recording. <laughs> I mean, this this is the end, right? That's that's your goal. Yeah. You you wanted you started at eight, well nine my time, or nine your time, eight my time, and yeah. uh, it's big hour and forty nine minutes live. <laughs> hour and forty eight minutes recording. <laughs> so, cool. Not too bad. Oh, not too bad. If I had known what I was doing, it would have been a lot easier. But, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Did I lose you? I'm looking at, I'm reading chat. Uh, Shoe Funk's been talking oh. over here. He's been talking up a storm and ignoring him. Well, yeah, you could ignore him. I, it's not my job. I know. I totally forgot about you there, Shoe Funk. Sorry. <laughs> He sees nothing but reblogs, and it doesn't show the reblogs. Oh, I think he was talking about he, yeah. He oh. was talking about when the the page wasn't loading. Right. Yeah, because it was it was weird. <laughs> He's used to it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Honestly, I am sorry. I'm not used to people watching me actually. Because <laughs> you know, we usually the ones that I'm used to seeing are in the loud and proud. So. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much everybody hangs out in there so are you doing the streaming now yeah i'm still i'm still oh i will be this week are you doing sure. it tonight yep for absolutely uh, for drop the beat or uh, drop the mic drop the mic <laughs> drop the bass yes I'm, I'm planning on doing it tonight for sure 
Nice. It's, it's going to be fun getting back into it. Well, I'm glad glad you got a computer that can handle it now. I'm glad that uh, you got your blog hosted on your own website. This is freaking badass. Now, just to change that favicon, though, I want a different favicon besides the okay the hive. You know how to rsync. I just gotta, yeah. You know how to rsync with this it. sh. Yeah. You do. Yes. Well, that... well, I know how to FTP it in. No. R-Sync, R-Sync just, you know, it's, hold on, let me see here. R-Sync. Yeah. This right here is what you need to do. Uh, let's go, I'm going to move back to the, I'll, I'll start, I'm going to put this in our regular chat. Um, copy files over R-Sync. That's what you need to do. And basically, I would follow all this and I wouldn't do it on stream. But oh, I would no. do the SSH keygen stuff. SSH key, uh, keys are more secure than typing in passwords. And when you type in like SSH uh, Ubuntu at unclebonehead.xyz, it doesn't ask you for a password. You're just in there. Okay, so what happens when I change distros or I do it from another computer? Uh, then you have, the key to, you have to enter a password. Okay. And because I tend to change, I didn't tend to distro hop a lot, but well, I'm trying to cut that back. If you just uh, if you keep your home folder and and transfer that over to other computers, then it'll work. But I don't know. Your home folder is like awesome, dude. I don't know if you realize that. Yeah, I know. If I've it, got it backed up on. It my home folder is actually technically on my home server and both machines you know sync with it so well there you, you know go I mean? so you, that's going to slow you down a lot if you have to do a network call every time you want to like use your computer. no 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 it's, it's the same thing they just sync back and forth oh okay constantly oh, okay they use c file to sync so anyway i would do all this not on the stream well, no. That'd be boring. But um, you create these. You, you make a you make a key. You put it in your authorized keys file, and then and then you do all these R this R sync stuff, which essentially what you want to do is download or get a file, uh, right? A, 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 a icon, sixteen by sixteen bits, I think, or thirty two by thirty two bits, or yeah. pixels. I mean. And then it then put that that goes in the root folder, don't it? No. That'll go oh yeah, the root folder, which is your public uh, super hive slash public. Now uh, go back to your terminal. Let me see here. Oh, you are on your terminal. I'm I'm not watching yep. it. Super hive. So go to go C D public. C D public. Now, ls, you'll see favicon.ico. Yeah, there oh, it is. Anything it's that's replaced. being favicon.ico is what the page is going to use. So essentially what you need to do is get the new file in there. Um, name favicon.ico. I would put like, I would go mv favicon.ico to favicon.ico.bak, right? Right. Backup. Or backup. And then it can't find it anymore. So then you need a new one named favicon.ico, which is the new one that you put in there. Okay, and then and then it'll use it, and that'll be your new favicon. Cool. So just r syncing, re uh, renaming, and then boom, you got it. Well, I see what I'm doing the rest of the day. <laughs> A favicon, <laughs> and playing around with r sync. <laughs> yeah, uh, r sync's awesome. I mean, but you know, just, you just got to be careful. Like, it's always, uh, uh, um. How do you explain? It? Like it's always the first thing you do is the is the file you want to be copied, and then the second the second place is the destination. Right. Um. So it would look like something like this. I'm not going to put it all in there. 
R sync, uh, AVZ, and then blah blah blah, and then it would be like home slash downloads slash uh, new favicon dot png, and then it would be. Yeah, Shoefunk saying that he thought the reblogs would not show up. There's on the admin page. But so reblogs and cross posts are two different things. Yeah. Oh. Okay. What are they then? Oh, cross post is from one. What do you call it? From one community to another, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's kind of like a reblog, but you add text to it. Oh, okay. With the reposts. So my repost, if I do a repost, What's it a will repost? show up on my page. A reblog? Yeah. Okay. That's going to be what it looks like. Um, in our chat, you can see, like, essentially, it, whatever, you know, I, I, I don't know if it's going to be in your download folder. I don't know what the new favicon uh, is going to be called. Yeah, I see it. But that's where, like, the second line is is what you want to put it to. Okay. And then, and then that's going to put the new new favicon uh, dot png into that public folder. Cool. That is cool. <laughs> I'm geeked. Now just to figure out a way to get the nav bar up there, and I can set up the pages. Oh, what kind of pages do you want? I'm going to set up the pages for like you know, for people to know where to subscribe to the podcasts and other places they can find me. And I also want to set up a a page with with a good Hive tutorials on how to do stuff on Hive. And another page to explain them what what Web three is and okay that kind of stuff. All right, I've got I've got big plans for it. Uh, stuff that I always wanted to do with my site that I never actually did anything. So you got a site? Yeah, I got a site now. Oh, I like the classic theme. I don't know. What do you like? I don't know. I, I'm kind of torn between that classic and Celeste. Well, Celeste is the one with all the fancy uh, font, isn't it? Yeah, that's the one that uh, Bambuco uses. See, I just changed it. Yeah, super scripty looking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other ones. The default was the one that Here's the classic. Yeah, the classic looks like a like a tabletop desktop type thing. And then minimal. God that refreshes fast. There's the minimal. I actually like the default or Celeste. We need to do something about the no image available. Like, if there's yeah, no image, that's... just don't even put it on there. <laughs> you got to have a some kind of an image. That one image is broken. Is that broken on the Hive blog too? No, it just doesn't show because that's from DBuzz. No, no, there's one. Uh, today is the day. You posted it on February 10th. Shit, I don't know. Scroll down. And, oh, I don't know. I'm five seconds behind. There's a there's an actual, it says picture of the post. Oh, right here. Picture, yeah. There was a post picture in it. Oh, no, I didn't put a picture in it. And it does show a little bit of the markdown. I don't know why that is. Oh, yeah, there is no picture in it. So 
if I do Celeste. Gorgeous. Sweet. Well, I am good. All right, man. Well, um, I got uh, some stuff I got to take care of now. But I'm glad to see you yeah. got it going. And um, Now you know what your problem was. Yeah. Now I know what my problem <laughs> was. I can go ahead and get that going. Which I don't even know if I really, cool. like, I'm going to probably, you know, the thing is I don't blog. So. Yeah, putting my blog up on a website is kind of a, like my website of just voting for my witness makes more sense. Yeah, it does. Um, Unless you're going to run a, a community site. Well, that's what I'm thinking. I was thinking that would be for MSP Waves. You know, MSP Waves. I'm I'm kind of torn about like I I want to move it to audio only. I'm trying to figure out a way to give people more ownership of it. And like, I think moving it audio only will, would, would make that happen a lot easier. Yeah. I, but I wanted to, I wanted to make it more like decentralized where it's not like, it's not a Ron thing. It's, it's you, you know, it's everybody who's doing it. it Cause that's really who's, who's making this happen. It's the people who put it right. on the shows. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where so it'd be, Make make it more of a radio station than, than uh. But um, the way that we're, like the way our, uh, everything is going, I'm just like I I've so I've still got in my, my tabs like stuff that you were sending me. Let's see, where is that at? Not that. Oh yeah. Um. That's a sauna. Where are we at? I got all these different developer node.cg. Yeah, open broadcaster. I was really checking that out. It doesn't seem it does it, it does automation, but it doesn't do automation of of um here's the thing, like we need to have different stream addresses for everybody. And then those stream addresses need to go live according to a schedule. Right. And uh, nothing really supports that. And the thing is, we've, uh, like, I've used Butt, I've used uh, Mixer, I've used... Butt. <laughs> yeah, Broadcast using this tool. Yeah, I know. I know what Butt is. And none of them are really easy to use. Like, they're really set up for a guy with a microphone and and then music on your computer. That's how it's set up. Cool. Um, but it's like, if you want to have a discord call, like we're doing right now, it takes a lot of setup to get that going. Like you have to do like crazy, like, you know, your Jack server reconfiguration shit to get that going and trick it, <laughs> and trick it into letting you, it's not a feature of it. It's like, you have to do a workaround to trick it into letting you do that, which is dumb. So like I want to be I want the option of being able to just keep using OBS, and then and then a server converts it over to uh, an IceCast stream, which is pretty easy to do. It's actually super easy to do. So have you ever heard of? Uh, I don't think it would work for everybody though. Sonobus. I think I, I, let me see. Oh, no, I, that was on my other computer. So I, I had that one installed too, I'm pretty sure. But it, it's a way to let, you know, it's intended for musicians, but you can oh sync over the internet. Oh, yeah. No, okay. I don't have that installed. I've heard about it. I basically installed every it's, single, uh, every single broadcasting client that I could find. And none of them had the ability, like OBS, to just capture audio, you know? Right. None of them do. They're not set up for that. 
So it, it, it there's like there's so many problems to solve, and uh, I don't really have time. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean, but the sonobus.net would be like you could set that up as like a control room locally, and then the other hosts could connect to it, and then you know. Here's the biggest problem. I need I need streams with unique addresses to go live according to a schedule. Right. If I can get that, then it, uh, there there could be a million different uh, options for us. Um, well, what's what's wrong with using the um? Fuck, I can't even think of it. What what you're using now for the uh, for the? Uh, I'm using OBS. Box. So essentially, you guys music stream, box. You guys stream to a server. That server then pushes it out, and OBS catches it, and then OBS right. switches to like we've I've got a scene for each show, and it'll switch to that scene according to a schedule. Right, but I'm talking about if you go audio only, why not just run it all off of uh, the hell is the name of that fucking automation software? You Liquid use? Soap. No, the 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 full fleet full featured thing. I can't think of the fucking name of it. Automation software. Yeah, it's the stuff that Liquid Soap was running on. Oh, you're, like ta Airtime. you're talking about a Zuracast. Zuracast, that's it. It doesn't. It, What's wrong with just using that? I would love to use it, but they don't have the features. It does, like they can you can schedule stuff, but not according to a certain stream. So the the host would just connect to the to the the web caster, and then it would go live. Then, if they don't show up, it keeps playing music. But doesn't it? It doesn't capture desktop audio, so you couldn't have Discord conversations and stuff. It plays mu like the webcaster takes in a mic and then it also you can play music off the web interface yeah and the music on the web interface is just jukebox so one person talking while playing jukebox songs in between that's that's the extent that gives you so the the person the dj would have to have the uh the wherewithal to get the mix sent to Missouri cast. No, uh, because the only way to do that is to do it through the mic, which would mean that Discord conversations would be impossible. I could do it. Well, I you have to you have to make a dummy mic, and then and then give yeah. Missouri cast your dummy mic while having a regular mic in Discord. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> asking people to do that though is. <laughs> I see what you're saying, but. That that's the problem. Anyway, so right. Anyways, we don't need to broadcast all this. Shit. Yeah, we got. There's a problem to solve. I don't know. I was thinking about putting out a post to kind of go over the the problem in detail, but then writing posts, I fucking hate. But even if I don't like, even when I need to do it, it still it just takes me like to make like a decent post like that would probably take me eight to ten hours. Oh fuck me. I just I, I'm I'm just... this whole fucking time I just noticed I didn't have the Discord output connected. No, I heard it. So nobody's they, they heard nobody's. It. It's but it's not going into OBS. <laughs> no, it is. It has to be because I I literally could hear my voice on the stream, whenever. I, Did you? Yeah, when I first started, Shoe Funks didn't complain. Shoe Funks, could you hear Ron talking that whole time in Bambuka? Yeah, because did he thing, stop watching? I I was listening to the stream. Yeah, he heard me the whole time. There you go. Yeah. Okay. That's fucking weird because it's not even hooked up. <laughs> I hope it recorded. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> it's gonna sound awfully weird. Just you laughing at random things and then. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and asking weird questions that have no context. <laughs> yep. Yep. Wow, it says there was nine people watching. That's pretty cool. 
So I'm going to end the stream yeah. and the recording. And the Discord so, call, because I'm getting out of here. Yep. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll catch you later. I'm going to play the outro and then end the stream. Thank you all for watching. Thanks for uh, being ignored, Dershu Funk. <laughs> we love you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Be good. Be safe. Don't stick your finger where you wouldn't stick it.